Hello and welcome back to the course on blockchain. And today we're going to touch on very briefly decentralized applications or dApps. And that's because it's an important topic uh, as in you will hear about it, especially in the time to come, there will be more dApps and they will be more becoming more widespread. It's not it's nothing called more complex than a smart contract, but nevertheless, I think it's worth mentioning. So let's have a look. There's where we left off previously. We've got our smart contracts. I've got our network. It's like this, the complexity of this system is growing very fast. And now let's just make some space here at the bottom. What is a DAP? Well, a DAP is this. It is an interface for people to connect with applications. Well, it's not just an interface. It contains an interface for people to interact with something on the blockchain. So a DAP consists of a front end and the back end, which is the smart contract. So in a way, your think of smart contract as the API or the application programming interface for um, applications to interact with a blockchain. So basically, if um, like let's say if you wanted if you wanted to if you wanted to create an application um, for that would like let's say an app on the phone or a, or some other app that's like on the on an iPad or on the computer that would interact with a server you would need to use the API you would need to somehow get into that server and use the right um, connectors and things like that to get to that server and get information from that server and put information there and so on so you can think of a smart contract as a way for an application so this is an application to interact with the blockchain, to put things on the blockchain, take things from blockchain. And then there's a front end for people to interact with. So that's what decentralized applications are. They use smart contracts to interact with the blockchain and they allow users to interact with the application itself. And let's have a look at an example. One of the most uh, famous examples is Steemit. Um, and this space is evolving so quickly. So when you're watching this video, Steemit might not exist already or it might be super huge. But surely there are other, other examples of uh, decentralized applications which you can uh, find. But Steemit is kind of like Twitter, but on blockchain. So you can just like go in here and um, you will actually see that like this is information being loaded onto your screen, onto, well, in this case, my screen. And it's quite slow, but I don't think that's the blockchain problem. It's mostly, it could be Australian internet problem. Uh, it's not the best here. But like this information has just been loaded, not from a server, but from a blockchain. So it's kind of like Twitter in a way, but it's uh, it's totally decentralized. It's like all of this, all of these, all of this data is stored on uh, the blockchain. People are interacting with blockchain, and this is an application. This website is an application which allows users to uh, like interact with each other. But in the back end, all of this is going through a blockchain. So there we go. That's Steemit. Check it out if you if you'd like to ha learn more. It's a it's a new way of like a, a way to disrupt Twitter um, with blockchain. And on that note, hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I look forward to seeing you back here next time. Until then, enjoy blockchains.